Hi, my name is Tracy Snowden. I am the CEO and founder of Apto. As you can see, I'm also a female. <laughs> um, I wanted to tell you a little bit about Apto and my history. I grew up in a multicultural environment and I was also I had the opportunity to travel overseas for study abroad. When I came back from Germany as an 18 year old, I wanted to teach German, but at that time, I went to a little language school and they told me uh, what we really need are English language teachers. And so I got certified in ESL, English as a Second Language, which is now referred to as ELL, English Language Learning, and um, had the opportunity to work with expat families directly who relocated to America for work or study or to start a new chapter in life. And through that experience, I learned a lot over the past 15 years. I also know what it can be like as a female entrepreneur uh, to face the challenges that come along with uh, funding and being taken seriously and um, being uh, able to gather the resources that many other individuals um, have a lot more readily available in some cases. And a lot of times it feels like you have to go the extra mile and work that much harder. Uh, but I was passionate about my learners and about helping them to adapt at the local level to their community. That was something that I saw them becoming successful at and it gave me great fulfillment. And that's how we developed Apto. We developed it with the learner's needs in mind. I remember so many of my students saying, I wish I could have had the way that you teach. I wish I could have had it online and before I came. And what they were referring to was a methodology that I honed that combined language and culture in a context of uh, regionalizations, as well as um, informal speech, um, international accents, colloquialisms and slang, and ultimately help to make them a part of the local community. So we created a proprietary software that actually uses locale tags to scale. If you can imagine an X, Y axis, we have the ability to scale to the point where um, we could actually update or easily integrate real time content from all over the globe. And we're really, really excited to move in that direction. But before we um, get started and you dive into our business plan and our pitch deck, I just wanted to share a couple of stories of people's lives um, that we've been able to help and change and also some sad stories um, that haven't been so successful. One of those was uh, a family, a Japanese couple that came um, that I worked with through an automotive uh, manufacturing plant. And they um, unfortunately, after about 16 months, um, divorced. The wife and children returned home and the husband remained here. And um, about 50% of all relocations fail and about two thirds of those cite failure to culturally adjust. And typically the people who are most impacted by this are the female spouses and the children. Um, another story that I love to share is a success story but it started off very painful. Uh, it's of a, a Mexican student of mine by the name of Edgar and Edgar for six months straight was doing um, anywhere from four to six hours of homework a night. When his uh, father would come home from work, he would still be doing homework and because of the language ability in the house, he would have to help him with that. Edgar was so frustrated because he couldn't make friends and he wasn't able to play baseball, which he loved to play at home. And uh, we worked with him and used the methodology that we've developed through Apto to be able to get him not only to the point of succeeding academically, um, but, but giving him the confidence he needed to participate in order to do so. And a lot of this has to do with socialization. Um, Bridgestone, one of our early adopters, cited the happiness of the spouse as the number one problem that they had in terms of turnover uh, or retention problems with their expat families. And we've recognized that, happy wife, happy life. And um, as Americans, when we see internationals coming in, we often don't think about that impact that is um, being had on their life just because they're not able to interact in the same way or at the same level of confidence that we would. Many women give up entire careers um, and sacrifice their own lives and their own joys and their own successes in order to be a support to their husband and their family to have this opportunity to advance their careers in this way. And that can be really tough on families and it's also obviously very tough on bottom lines. So I would invite you as you look through these materials to think about what if the shoe were on the other foot? What if this were your family relocating abroad? What would you want or what would you trust in order to prepare them to be successful and happy for the entire extent of the relocation? Um, so with that, 
uh, I presented to you, Apto. Thank you.